faithful and he will remain the same. Hebrews chapter 12. I would like to read from the verse 2. Hebrews chapter 12 verse 2. Looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame and is set down at the right hand of the throne of God. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, this evening I come into thy presence. My Father, this is your word, O Lord, and as you promised this evening, I will put my words in your mouth. Have thine own way, O Lord. Let the spirit of righteousness have its absolute way this evening. You want to speak to me, you want to speak to all of us and all those who will listen to this, your voice in the coming days. Have thine own way, I am the least of all. Cleanse me from all my shortcomings, my King, and hide me under your wings. This is your place, this is your time. Have thine own way, O Lord, and exalt the name that is above all names. Believing and trusting, Lord, there is nothing that is too hard for. I ask all this in and through the mighty name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. This evening, as I was asking God every week, what is that you would like to speak to me and to all of us? God opened my eyes to this. We all know Hebrews chapter 12 to looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. I want to ask you a question this evening. What is the meaning of author? We read so many books, books written by, means what? they know they write and hence they claim it to be the author but here jesus is the author and finisher of our faith now it is very important because there's something which the holy spirit wants to speak to me and to all of us author and finisher not only is the starting point but is the end point of our faith now we have to understand few things because if you go to Hebrews chapter 11 we all know now chapter 11 verse 1 now faith is the substance of things hoped for the evidence of things not seen we have heard this hundred times that's a definition of faith the Bible says let us kill but spirit gives life. I've been reading this. I've been listening also. Faith is a substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen. Now here, Jesus is the author and finisher. What a wonderful verse. Author. That means Jesus has already written something about you and me. He's the author. He's the author. And nothing happens accidentally in our lives. Nothing. My parents did not plan that I should be born on March 15th. In the same way in the world, no parent has planned that this is the day, the time, the color, the skin, the height, the weight. No. Because even before you were formed in your mother's womb, God knew you. Every believer must understand this evening that our faith starts from Jesus. It starts from Jesus. But the beauty of it is He finishes our faith too. He starts it and finishes it. Then what is that we have to do this evening? What is faith? And why God is so particular about faith? Have you ever... There's a lot of difference between trusting and walking in faith. We can trust our parents and friends easily. Why? Because you can see them. You can see them. You can feel them. 
you can know them by emotions but how can you have faith in Jesus is the question the Holy Spirit is asking let me repeat how can we have faith in Jesus how can I have faith and by reading the Word of God because most of us have done it many times I've also read the Word of God reading the Word of God is completely different and walking with God is different the Holy Spirit wants to speak his heart this evening and I'm very touched by the character of the Holy Spirit this evening when I say the character every preacher or a pastor would like to have thousands and lakhs of congregation but our father says where two or three are gathered in my name i will be in their midst this evening the holy spirit is right in this place and he wants to open up the walk with jesus is the author and finisher of my faith we try to do so many things on our own nothing wrong but when it comes to faith jesus is the end because he said in revelations if you go to revelations chapter one there's something we should know about the power that is in the name of if we really don't know the power that is in jesus we cannot experience his presence revelations chapter one eight he talks about himself i am alpha and omega the beginning and the ending said the lord which is and which was and which is to come the almighty this is god himself is the alpha the omega the beginning and the end and in hebrews 12 2 he says looking unto jesus this evening the holy spirit wants to ask me and all of us in regards to christian life where are we looking this evening are we looking at a congregation? Are we looking at a doctrine? Are we looking at the blood of Jesus? Are you looking at the spirit of Jesus? Where are you looking? As Paul said, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. That is called clarity in God's word. Our man of God does not like confusion. He loves clarity. Why? If you don't know a person, I cannot go to a person and talk to him. Forget about a person, we are talking about the Almighty, the Alpha, the Omega this evening. The author and finisher of our faith. God pays a lot of importance in our faith. Let me repeat. God plays or pays a very important aspect of our faith. He's very concerned about our faith. How can you say? If you go to root Hebrews chapter 11 and if we go to 6 but without faith it is impossible to please him for he that cometh to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him we use the word faith brother I'm trusting God for a bike brother I'm trusting God for a good life partner pastor I'm trusting uh, for an increase in salary very good nothing wrong because we are all in the world God has got no plan but God says look unto things which are around this evening and how can we look if you look unto Jesus the author and finisher of our faith do we have that clarity this evening if you go to Genesis if you go to Genesis chapter 15 we all know about Abraham Genesis chapter 15 and verse 6 it says in Genesis chapter 15 verse 6 mm -hmm. and he believed in the Lord and he counted it to him for righteousness God is really working something this evening Abraham believed on the word what is that word if you go to the same Genesis chapter 15, Abraham is asking in verse 3, Abraham said, Behold to me thou hast given no seed, and lo, one born in my house is mine heir. 
to behold the word of the Lord came unto him saying this shall not be thine heir but he that shall come forth out of thine own bowels shall be thine heir now if someone right now in 2019 we bring Abraham back at his age and God says this word to me or to you will you trust God but Abraham believed at God's word all of us started those who have taken water baptism we have taken by faith how can you say by faith if you go to Ephesians Ephesians chapter 2 to be honest with you this evening the Holy Spirit wants to add more clarity with the walk of Christ because these days we don't have this clarity Ephesians chapter 2 verse 8 for by grace are ye saved through faith by grace are ye saved through faith and that not of yourselves it is the gift of God very important we are all experiencing the gift of God in our lives that is salvation Ephesians chapter 2 8 for by grace are ye saved through faith we all have started walking with Jesus by faith trusting him obeying him taking water baptism that's the first step in life for John 3 16 clearly says for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life this is what God wants but as we all know we have to obey by taking water baptism but here today the Holy Spirit is talking about our faith the author and finisher of our faith he started this work in all of us so does it mean this evening by taking water baptism what next is the question what next do you have a role or does God expect something from us absolutely yes because without faith it is impossible to please God why because God expects his children to trust him in all situations to trust him in all situations very very important the Bible says very clearly that Paul said in Corinthians nothing can separate me from the love of my father nothing 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 when he says nothing no situation no difficulty no problem can separate me how can he say that this evening because he has believed in the word of God in these last days rather than walking by God's word we walk with our own wisdom and knowledge there's a lot of difference because walking by faith is not by sight the import see for example if I ask you a question did I'm, I'm asking question of the entire church in the world did you see Jesus when you took water baptism you did not see Jesus but you were taught the word and you believed that is what is faith faith is a subtle thing if you if you spend time with a friend for example one year two years you know what he does you know what he's going to speak we're so much concerned about our friendship in the world but what about the friendship with God this evening because Abraham was called a, a friend of God God loves his children to grow up this evening all of us it's not how many years no one asks when did you take baptism is a very famous question no one asks are you walking with Christ am I walking with Christ is very important I was very surprised God was telling me this week last week author and finisher even David said even before a word is formed in my mouth he knows it he knows it that is what Jesus Christ of Nazareth is this evening what is the Holy Spirit trying to say the author and finisher of faith remember he gave you the great gift of salvation but after that he wants to change you and mold you as in the book of Isaiah 
as a porter works on the clay he starts working in your life very important every believer must understand and realize that water baptism is a starting point with the alpha and the end is where he will finish his work because he makes all things beautiful in his time even paul he said be ye imitators of me as i am imitator of christ what is that imitation paul is talking about paul has always put god's word first in his life and then he walked in his life very important how many of us when we have a problem impossible situations do we raise up god's word and talk to him that kind of faith in this modern world has gone out our god is more than a word because he confirms his word with signs and wonders that is complete god i don't know why the holy spirit is speaking to us the author and finisher of our faith we have to lean on him that's what david said said and god said trust in the lord with all your heart lean not to your own understanding commit your ways to the lord and he will act on it how many times do we commit our ways to the lord after getting salvation do we commit no it is more of taking inputs from others not a problem but god looks at our heart he comes back and says son i am looking into your heart at what level are you trusting me and i'm very sorry to say the church has become more of a uh, a stage performance when i say stage performance in the stage we rehearse and do a lot of steps here and there in the body of christ the standard greeting a smile and then we go back is christ working in us is the holy spirit touching you do you have the experience of the touch of the holy spirit or are you confined to just the word statistics are very good in the word of god is statistics enough this evening for a walk with christ or an experience with christ is the author and finisher of our faith i want all of you to understand the importance of faith why if you go to luke chapter 188 Luke chapter 18:8 something which God is sharing with all of us and then moko and he shares only when he looks from above and sees if my children are listening to my voice let me be very straight why there is no move of the holy spirit in most of the churches is because we are confounded we have put a wall around our thinking that this is it read the word but don't experience god's presence read the word don't experience but god is not like that he speaks but when he says i'm knocking at the door if someone opens i'm not going to enter into it someone opens he does not force anyone even after baptism he doesn't force because he is a god who gives you the freedom to decide this evening if you go to luke chapter 18:8 and I, i believe the holy spirit is sharing what is he says in luke chapter 18 8 and he speak this parable and before that i tell you that he will avenge them speed nevertheless when the son of man cometh shall he find faith on the earth such a profound shall he find faith on earth all the countries not just one place shall he find faith god himself is putting a question because he knows that most of us will be offended at some time or the other because of the the dealing with which he works in our lives i'm telling you very honestly it is not easy to walk with christ it is not easy why it is very easy to say lean on god lean on god but how do we lean on god how do we lean just this words have got no life if the spirit does not move i used to quote i used to memorize when i was in sunday school i was a very good i got very good memory i used to buy heart so many verses and got first prize but never experienced a life but by god's grace i'm experiencing what lean how can you lean i'm walking very fast but if i many years and even recently i met with an accident my right hand was paining 
I had to, I, then I had to depend on someone. I could not drive, then I, I waited for someone. Lini Kosha. Now remember, if you really have to trust God, you have to lean on Him. Cast all your burdens unto me and I will give you rest. That verse will sound so encouraging. But the real life behind it is, God will place you in a situation where you feel helpless and hopeless. It is not because he wants you to feel that way, but he wants to experience his power in that situation because my strength is manifested in your weakness. Why can't we receive that word as it is? Because in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. And the word himself is speaking to us this evening. Can I find faith on this earth? Because God knows everything. But the character of Jesus Christ of Nazareth is he is stretching his hands 24 by 7 to a rebellious people with the hope that someone will turn from their wicked ways. Wickedness is not just uh, cheating, adultery, all those things. No, but doing what is not right in the sight of God is wickedness this evening. The author and finisher of our faith. He's working in our lives. Please understand, every believer's life, God wants to work and he will make you through. That's what David said, though I walk through the valley of shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Though in spite of situations being not good, I will trust in him. That's a great level of intimate relationship. Where is Christ in our lives this evening? Is he at number five, number seven, number ten? Or maybe only for Sundays? We remember Jesus on Sundays, Christmas, Easter, Good Friday. Is that the walk that you're having? Because God cannot complete his work without your participation. Let me repeat the whole, God cannot complete his work without your participation. Because a very important, God is reminding me, in Saul's life, his, the kingdom was about to be established in his hand. But he did something foolishness. God is always there with us. But you also have to walk with him. You have taken the first step of water baptism. Continue to walk with him. Very important. Then you will understand who Jesus is. Ask God every day. You pray. Are we praying with God? Are you interceding with God? Not when problem comes. Because I'm talking not with the scriptural references. I'm talking because of the grace that God has given in my life to walk with him. And I've realized that God makes you feel hopeless, weak, so that you know his power. When you all have everything in life, you don't need God. You don't need God. You don't really expect God's presence. Don't be happy if you think you're very blessed in material things. Are you blessed spiritually? God says, thank you Lord. He might have gained the whole world, but if he has lost his own soul, what is the benefit if the Holy Spirit is saying? What is that benefit? We are going astray, the Holy Spirit is saying, because we are not looking unto Jesus. The prayer that I would like to pray for all those who are watching and listening this evening is let us fix our eyes on the Alpha, the Omega, the beginning and the end because He has got some plans for all of us. But as the Bible says, can, will I find faith on earth when I return? Is the question the Holy Spirit is saying. Faith connects us to the heart of Jesus and without faith, you cannot please God. May the word that he has released be blessed in our lives. I want all of you to close your eyes. What the Holy Spirit has placed, I've shared. I want all of you to close your eyes for a few moments as we enter into the Lord's table.